Hi, right, it's time for the math easy solution. We're going to discuss further into um, integrals and areas between curves, and now look at when we have to use the absolute value when we uh, write down the integral. Basically, uh, what I mean, we'll be dealing with uh, in this video how to find the area between, let's say, function let, between two functions such as this one here, which is f of x goes up and down like this and g of x where f of x is sometimes less than g of x and sometimes more than g of x so we want let's say we want to get this area uh, basically uh, previously uh, in my videos I went over finding the area under uh, under two curves such as this one where f of x is always greater than g of x so for example if we wanted to find out the area uh, between let's say this region where this is x equals a this is x equals b right here and we want to know this one uh, I was able to basically uh, I show that you could get the area as uh, integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x times uh, yeah then then d of x right there. So this was the area between these, but we can't apply the same thing here because let's say when we look at uh, this part, so when we do it for this region right here, we can do it, but not this one right here because we'll have a negative value because f of x is uh, below and g of x is on top so we're gonna go f of x minus g of x that is a negative number right here so to get the area of this we need to look at instead of this we need to look at the absolute value of f of x uh, minus g of x yeah now when we uh, look at this fx minus g of x the absolute value of this could also be written as two functions this is going to be equal to fx minus g of x uh, whenever you have fx is greater than or equal to g of x let's just write if let's get this out of there and also but then if it's uh, less than it so if you have um, fx is less than or equal to g of x this would just be well g of x minus f of x so then we would basically split this up into three regions right here so this is going to be uh, this would be g of x minus f of x for positive value right there so uh, so basically if we had let's say from a all the way to b now the area of this and, and is this applies to th this case as well would just be area equals to integral from a to be of absolute value of f of x minus g of x and then this is dx right there yeah and this applies for this case because well the absolute value is it's gonna be positive this one's always positive so this one is the same thing right there these are basically same thing for this curve for this one here but for this one we need to make it like this so that we have absolute values only being added up and we'll have the correct area so we'll just highlight this. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this video. And uh, later I'll do some examples that uh, go over where, where you have cases like this, such as si sine curves or uh, trigonometry functions, etc. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the uh, link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.